What's up everyone? I'm the gentleman and today I'll be talking about Dead Alive. This should be interesting. Do you like zombies? Do you like Psycho? Do you like Lord of the Rings? Wait, what? That's right, before Peter Jackson did Lord of the Rings, he actually did a zombie slapstick comedy from the early 90s called Dead Alive. Originally called Brain Dead, it had to change its name when it came to North America because the movie already had the rights to that name. But I don't care about the movie, so let's just move on. Dead Alive is about a socially awkward mama's boy named Lionel who looks like Norman Bates' Kiwi brother. And about a woman named Paquita who is desperately looking for love. She then becomes entranced by him when her tarot cards say that she'll meet her one true love when a certain symbol is displayed. Which is what she finds when she meets Lionel. Aww. However, prior to this, a zoo official goes to a foreshadowing of a future Peter Jackson project, Skull Island, home of Harambee. The official then retrieves this fucking animal who looks like a certain someone's pet on crack to bring back to the zoo because fuck nature, you're going to be a publicly displayed prisoner. Then the indigenous people chase him down, but then he escapes until he is bitten by the monkey rat. So he is kicked off because of Singaya. Singaya. Sengaya. Sengaya. Which is pretty bad because this. <laughs> then the missing link makes his way to the zoo where our romantically awkward couple is having their first date. But then they come across the monkey rat who then bitch slaps a regular monkey and then just starts to eat his arm because that's just how you get down the zoo. However, the perfect zoo date is soon ruined when the mom gets bitten by the rat monkey because she was spying on Lionel and Bikita because she was starting to get a little jealous of them. Thanks, mom. I had my first boner. Oh, and in case you're wondering about the rat monkey's origins, well, listen to this. Story goes these great big rats come sculling off the slave ships and raped all the little tree monkeys. Yes, you heard right. Rats raped some monkeys. Yeah, you show that rat bastard. Over the course of the movie, the mom's bite gradually gets worse until she becomes a flesh-eating zombie, and then she eventually turns others into them as well. That's one way to make friends. Your mother ate my dog! This creates a problem for Norman Bates, I mean Lionel, because he now has to hide his mom and the mess that she's made into the basement because he doesn't want his mom to be taken away. Serious mommy issues. He's a fucking zombie dude. Let that bitch go. She hungry. This movie is hilariously over the top, if you can't tell already, but that's okay. That's what makes it so awesome. It's not meant to be taken seriously, even though it is still very entertaining and pretty memorable at the same time. Yeah. Fuck you Sharknado. I fucking hate you. You're not cool. You try too hard. I fucking hate Sharknado. Stupid movie. You don't, you don't become so bad it's good on purpose you have to try to be good and then you f you suck at it and then that's what makes it so good because you tried but you sucked but it's still good no you try to be bad on purpose fuck you sure to you know i fucking hate you i mean look at these characters you have a nurse whose head is barely hanging on off her neck by a couple of flaps of skin that's fucking disgusting but it's also pretty fucking awesome at the same time who does that who thinks about that then you have this kung fu priest yes a fucking kung fu priest who is the baddest son of a bitch under the Lord's name? Don't believe me? Check this shit out. I kick ass for the Lord! Fucking awesome until he goes out like a little bitch. Shame. Then there's that goddamn zombie baby. What? A zombie baby? How? By two zombies fucking. That's how. I now have an awkward erection. Hell, there's even a cameo by Peter Jackson himself who gets slapped. Probably for making the Hobbit movies. Slap the shit out of you, boring ass piece of shit. In addition to its awesome characters, this movie also has some hilarious scenes. Like, you ever wonder what it would be like if you took your zombie baby to the park? But 
the best thing about Dead Alive is the goddamn gore. This film is one of the goriest movies of all time. How gory, you ask? Well, try a thousand gallons of fake blood gory. What? Still not enough? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Holy shit is barely an understatement. So that's Dead Alive, one of the most underrated zombie movies ever. It's got everything. Solid story, memorable characters, hilarious scenes, beautiful moments of gore, but best of all, that zombie sex. So definitely check this one out as it still holds up against time. Fuck you, Shaun of the Dead. You're an overrated piece of shit. And frankly, I get tired of when people bring it up every time they mention zombie comics. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll be back soon with a new movie, or as always, if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. I'm the gentleman, I observe the world, so we can all laugh at it. Bye bye!